Alright guys, welcome to my September 18th DVD update. Um, the first two that I got was from my good friend on here, Mr. Parker. We did a little bit of a trade and I'll show you his two films what he gave me first. The first one was The Rejuvenator. I don't know if you can see that through the shine. I did a review on this film. So if you want to know about it, look at my review. Yeah, good film. And the second one he gave me was The Lowly's Grasp by the director Armando Diazorio who also did the um, Blind Dead films. Comes in this cool slip case. Now these are the ones that I got from shops and online. Next one I got was Dead Snow. I did um, a review on this also so if you want to know about this film check the review out in a cool slip case again. Great film, reminded me of Sam Raimi's older films the Evil Dead films. The next one I got was a serial killer film called Taking Lives and this has got a big star cast, it's got Angelina Jolie, Ethan Hawke, Keith Sutherland um, and a few more faces. Next one I got was Prison of the Dead. The case looks major cheesy but the zombies look great. I don't know if you can see, I'll try and give you a closer look at the zombies on the back. Yeah, it, it, the zombies look good. It's probably a cheese, cheese fest but I'm up for it. I'll give it a go. And the next one I got, which I'll be doing a review on this in the next couple of days, I watched it last night, and it's the remake of Larry Cohen's It's Alive. Um, it's only just come out. Um, so, yeah, Larry, Larry Cohen also did the screenplay for this as well. So, there'll be a review up on that very soon. The next one I got... I saw um, in a video by WTF Movies, um, Collins channel and it's a rare one, it said on Amazon that it was really rare and also Collins said that it, it snap them up while you can because they'll be pretty hard to get and it's the last house on the beach, this is the Italian release, two disc There's the back. It's in a slipcase. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, yeah, great release that one. Very, very pleased to have that. The next one is a film from New Zealand, and it's called Diagnosis Death, and it's got a few of the people in in it from Flight of the Concords. I think that's a comedy from New Zealand. Um, or a comedy. It weren't bad. And then um, I bought this one which is very good. I'll be doing a review on this one very soon as well. Um, it's the 80's horror prison film. Prison. Some great gore effects in this and the the monsters look very evil, the zombie type, if you can just see, loads of gore. This next one I got from Spain while I've been on holiday and it's called 100 Tears, it's a German release, I can't wait to watch this one. Another one I got from Spain, The Cell 2. Not expecting much from this, but it was really cheap, so I got it. 
another one I got from Spain is the Australian horror film um, it's in the tradition of the Hills of Eyes and Wrong Turn I watched it the other day I'll be doing a review on this and it's Dying Breed totally uncut a lot of these German ones are totally uncut and the next one I got I don't know what it's about but the cover looks wicked and it's totally uncut it's Gong Tao it's um I don't know it's a East Asian made horror film if you look at the cover look at that woman with the nails in her great totally uncut and another one I got from Spain while they were away it was a German shop that I got it from so that's why all the releases are German well most of them anyway and this is the Forgotten Ones aka The Tribe it's supposed to be a bit like The Descent cross between The Descent and Predator I think I can make out in the German writing totally uncut this next one I got I also got from Spain and I was really chuffed to get it I was like oh, I've got to get it special edition box set it's got two DVDs in it and it's The Exorcism of Emily Rose Spanish release look how thick that is box set it's got um, the film Exorcism of Emily Rose and some special features and then on another one it's got the documentary um, of all exorcisms and stuff like that and what it was based on the real case so I can't wait to watch that I love the documentaries about stuff like that so yeah great one to have that one the next one I got I got because I was a big fan of his other film what I watched um, Legion of the Dead um, so I thought when I saw that this was Anchor Bay and I found it, I bought it. Um, Beyond the Limits by Olaf Ittenbach. It's supposed to be really gory. It's got some of the um, actors from the Legion of the Dead film. This next one I got it's an upgrade because I had the single disc bare bones edition and now I've got this pieces the grindhouse release in two disc edition looks great it's got some great special features and last but not least um, I had the cut version the British cut version of this but I finally got the special edition uncut version of my bloody valentine I know everybody's got this it's took me a while to get it because obviously I had the cut version but I heard that it's really good and it's it makes the film ten times better with these added gore effects so it comes in the cool slip case really good looking I love the slip case really shiny and just looks great yeah so that's the end of my September 18th DVD update um, look out for upcoming reviews on my channel and yeah I'll speak speak and see you soon thanks